a prayer in memory of Kristallnacht. El Rachum Vachanun, compassionate and gracious God, today we remember the Jews of Europe who were terrorized by the Nazis and their collaborators during World War II. Our pain is still fresh, even though the war ended over 75 years ago. One day, 82 years ago, the Jews of Germany woke up in peace and ended that day in terror. We pray for all of those who were murdered during the Holocaust and for those who survived, even as the memories of tragedies past continue to haunt them. This time of year, we remember in particular the night of broken glass, Kristallnacht, which took place on November 9th and 10th, 1938. During this pogrom that was directed against the Jews of Nazi Germany and parts of Austria, Jewish homes were ransacked, as were shops and entire towns and villages. Nazi stormtroopers, along with German and Austrian civilians, destroyed buildings with sledgehammers, leaving the streets covered in pieces of smashed windows, shattered glass. On this night of terror, over 7,000 Jewish stores were demolished. 1,935 synagogues were ransacked and vandalized, 267 of which were set on fire. 91 Jews were killed during Kristallnacht, and 30,000 Jewish men, a quarter of all Jewish men in Germany, were taken to concentration camps. Over a thousand of these men ultimately died. And as you know, over six million Jews, men, women, and children were murdered during this period. Kristallnacht is viewed by historians as part of Nazi Germany's broader anti-Semitic policy and the beginning of the Holocaust, the Shoah. With the images in our minds of unspeakable things, we pray for the courage and energy to turn suffering into salvation. We must gather the broken shards of our collective memory and mold them into a new vision of the world. We pray for a world of peace, of wholeness, of holiness. We seek a time when the lion can lie down with the lamb, when nation does not lift up sword against nation, and when we will all dwell together in peace. In the words of the prophet Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 4, Lo yisagoi el goi cherev, v'lo yomadu od nechama. And let us say, Amen.